I can't believe this. I have over 2,000 subscribers. What? <laughs> That's amazing. I just, I don't even know how that happened. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Erica Johnston. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about whether or not gray hair makes you look older. So when I was first transitioning, I Googled this question. I don't know how many times. And once in a while, like in the past, you know, few months, I've actually Googled the question again. And that is, will gray hair make me look old? Many of you are just so sweet and you send me messages and you say oh I think you look younger with your your silver hair and I really appreciate that and you know when I googled that question I found a lot of the times that um, the answer was yes it will make you look older and here's what you need to do and there would be like different remedies to um, reverse the aging process and all this sort of thing and so that that kind of kept me from from taking the plunge for quite a while. I had a comment from a woman who said that if I dyed my hair blonde, I would look 25 years old. So as you know, I'm almost 40. I'm gonna be 40 actually in, in two weeks, I think. And so it's kind of this like sort of compliment, right? Like, oh, if you did this, you'd look 25. Like that's a compliment, I guess. But in the same token, it's like, so then how old do I look because I'm not doing that, right? But the funny thing is, is it didn't, the comment didn't bother me at all. It actually, it made me laugh because maybe this person hasn't actually seen me with blonde hair. So I'm, I'm going to show you a picture before and after and you can judge for yourself. So, so this blonde haired photo that I have was taken, I don't even know how many years ago, like four years or something. And personally, I think that I look older as a blonde. Um, but I mean, since that photo was taken, I also am older, right? So we have to kind of account for that too. And I think that, um, you know, we wonder like, oh, will I look older when the transition is done? And the fact is, is that you are older, <laughs> right? So. You know, like for some of us, I mean, if you've got short hair, the transition is going to be quick. But if you're growing out your hair long, that could be like two to four years of growth. And that's two to four years older that you are, right, after the transition. So I don't know. I, I think in the end, it's, it's your outlook on life. Will it make you look older? Um, it can. Like I find in the beginning stages, when you first start growing it out, um, for myself, I did think that it made me look older. Um, so I went to an esthetician when I had first started growing out my hair and this was when I had dyed my hair blonde two years ago. Um, so I had like this little bit of gray um, or silver here and then I had the rest was blonde and I had my hair pulled back and it looked like disasters. It was just really ugly. And so I went in and she was taking, it, this is for my um, IPL treatments that I had done, right, to get rid of some of the the uh, age spots. So I put my head into this cup and I had close-up photographs taken. And in these close-up, I mean, they're just ugly as it is. <laughs> like, I mean, you can't get away from that when your face is like this, you know, magnified face. It's not going to look good. Um, but you could also see just around here where my growth was of the, the silver. So it was funny because I looked at that picture and I was like, what the heck am I doing? Like, it was just this moment where I thought, oh my God, I really am trying, like trying to make myself look older here. And even the esthetician, she, she was kind of, and I understand this, like she's, she's in the beauty business, right? Like I get it. It's fine. You know, she said to me, um, you know, I don't know why you're letting it, because it did look awful, right? At that point, she's like, I don't know, you know, I think you should just, just die it. I think it would look better. And so her comment, and here I am, I'm trying to make myself, my face look younger, all this. And so I um, I left there and pretty shortly after that, I ended up dyeing my hair brown again, which as you know, I was really, really unhappy with. Yeah, so I, I guess just in the beginning stages, like I think that is aging. I mean, it's like anything, if you dye your hair brunette um, and you don't get the right shade for your skin tone, that's gonna be aging right? If you dye your hair blonde and 
you know you're not you don't look good as a blonde which I personally don't think I look good as a blonde um, unless you get that right shade perhaps uh, it's gonna be aging right so it doesn't matter what you do um, I think in the end you just have to be patient we've said that many times you just have to let your hair do its thing grow out I think my hair is looking better it's it's so healthy it feels really really good so really going gray is a state of mind all right so I got this message and this is going to be my comment of the week because I love it um, it's by a woman her uh, name is Carnley Carnley and she says this if 30 year olds go gray and 50 year olds go gray then we equalize age the process is a difficult one because it's emotional. You have to make do with a reality that you've hidden for years. But isn't that the truth though? You know, you think about um, this uh, stigma that goes with graying hair as being old. I don't know if her name is Carnley, but what she says is just amazing. Think about it. If 20 year olds, I was 16 when I started going silver and a lot of you comment and you were 16 or you were 20 years old and if we all not all but whoever felt like they wanted to right and just had the choice like do you want to go silver do you want to die whatever you want to do right but you just have truly have that choice and so many of us showed the truth showed what we have hidden um then it would just be normalized and i think that that I think we're getting there. I think we're, we're, it's just kind of a revolution in a way, do you know? Like, I don't know, it's just nice. And if we start to see that more and then the, the youth of today, you know, these little girls that are growing up, they, they can do whatever they want. Like they can have, I mean, right now you can see they're already doing it. It's pretty cool. I want to have pink hair. I want to have green hair. I want to have whatever. And it doesn't matter. It's not, it doesn't define them. But if they want to have their natural silver hair, they can. And it's just, that's okay, you know? So um, on that note, uh, I just want to leave you with that, that this is a personal choice and it doesn't matter what we do. And we, you know, I know the, the people that have subscribed to this channel are, I, I don't even know what to say. You are some of the most lovely people um, and you inspire me every day. So um, yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, I Right now where I'm at is, this is the last week of, of summer holidays for us. Um, my kids are actually at camp this week. Uh, I don't have any job teaching job lined up, so we'll see what happens. I may end up just doing some supply teaching for a while, which will give me more time to, to make these sort of videos and my fitness videos. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what happens, but I'll keep you posted until next week. Bye for now. Hey ladies. Hey ladies. Hey ladies. <laughs>